What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here and long time no see. Today I'm going to be talking to you about an amazing app that I found called PDF Element by Wondershare. Now this app can be found on Mac, Windows, Android and has been extremely successful on all those platforms and it is now available on iOS for free. So what is PDF Element? Well in short, it's a PDF editor, but it's also so much more. Let's take a look. So how do we get this app? So first of all, you go onto the App Store, you type in PDF Element, like so, and it will be the first option at the top. And it is a free download, so go ahead and hit download. And then after that, it's a very, very simple sign up process. It's simply using your email address, a password, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so now we're on the app. I'm gonna quickly show you a few of the top features available. It's literally impossible to go over all of them. So first of all, you go in, it's a really, really nice user interface. You've got your local files, recent favorites, and also the ability to use cloud technology so you can be using it on your Mac or Windows and then pick it up on your phone. So if we just have a look at the local files here. So this is super easy to use. I was able to download some files off of the internet in my downloads, as you can see. The first one we'll take a look at is the printer manual for the printer I have, which could be useful. Uh, and really, I'm just going to be showing you sort of how it makes a PDF come alive in a way, regardless of what it is. So first of all, in the top right hand corner, if you press that sort of flag icon, it breaks the PDF into sections. So I can easily go and see which section I want, which is not something you can usually do on any other PDF reader. So if I want to go to solve problems, I can quickly skip there and it will take me to that section. So now let's take a quick look at some of the editing options available on this PDF Element app. They really are incredible. So what you can do is you can see you press that pen icon on the top left hand corner. It comes up with a ton of options. So the first one you can probably see is a highlighting tool. So it will pick up the text on the PDF and then you can go and highlight bits of text that you want to show up and you can change the colour of the highlight by just pressing up at the top there and you can choose from a range of different colours. As well as highlighting, you can underline, as easy as that, and you can also strike through if you want to show that you no longer want anything on the PDF. You can also use a pencil tool and draw freehand, which can come in useful, which I'll show you in just a second. And of course you've got an eraser if you uh, make a mistake. You then also got the ability to add shapes. So for example, if you want to put a shape around a word, like a square here, you can do that. And you can also change the shape there by just force touching on the square shape. You can choose from a circle, a line, an arrow. You can also choose colors and how thick the line you want to be. One of my favorite editing options you can do is actually add a sticky note. So you press the note icon or quote bubble there and it comes up with a note and it's a big yellow screen where you can type in anything you want. So say edit later, done. And then that yellow symbol is there and when someone presses it, they can see what's inside just like so and they can see the message. So it doesn't take up a large amount of space on the PDF and you can write as much as you want in there. Another great feature which could be incredibly useful in terms of contracts and other documents like that is this stamp tool. It has a variety of different stamps you can use such as approved, final, void. So for example, if we have got the approved one here, we press it and we can then move it around to where we want and change the size as so. I think one of the most impressive tools on this PDF app are that you can actually edit text and edit the document as if it's a Word document and not a PDF. So you can go to the second tab on the right at the top there and you can see that everything becomes highlighted and this means that you can go ahead and edit it. So say here it says solve paper handling problems. We could change the word problems to anything we want. We could change it to issues. If we even looked back at this document and we want to change the words around, it really is that easy, even if it's a PDF, which is notorious for being uneditable until now. So say for instance, I've gone ahead and edited my printer manual or whatever it may be, a contract, an important work document. I can then go ahead 
and have an endless amount of options to what I want to do with that. I can first of all convert it. So I press convert here and you can see you can convert it into numerous different types of files, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, text, anything like that and it will convert it for you. You can then go ahead and share it. Just having a look at some of the other options here as well. You can move it around in the app to different folders. You can rename, share, print straight from there and also email from the app, which is incredibly useful for work documents and stuff like that. So I just want to show you one more example of a document you could be editing in this app and another use for it. So say you get a form that you need to fill out, such as this one. This is just an NHS doctor one. Uh, but you want to send it off immediately. You may not even have a printer to print this out and fill it in manually. Uh, and of course it is just easier to do it on your phone. You could add and fill in this form right from the app. Let me show you how to do it. So you can fill out that agenda form there with the pen tool, of course, very easily. So if you want to go ahead and fill out that first name box, for example, we can just tap the text box there, type in my name. And then here we can choose from fonts, colors. So we'll go for black, because that looks more professional. And we'll go for a bit of a smaller font there. And look at that. It looks like it's been filled in professionally. So if you do have a physical document, another really cool feature you can do is add it to your PDF app simply by taking a photo. So you go here to camera and just take a photo like so. So once you've uploaded the photo to the app, it's very, very simple. You can just treat it like another PDF or image and you can edit it as normal. So we can add in, say, a quote box just there and add a comment to say, revise later or something like that. And then that's ready for someone else to pick up and open or for you to pick up on another device as well. So anyway guys, I've only shown you a small potential of what this app can offer. All you can do is go ahead and download it for yourself and see how good it really is. It's basically putting everything you'd usually do in an office or need to be in an office for onto your phone now, which is just incredible. There's no need for faxing, printing out anymore. You can edit PDFs on the go wherever. Thanks for stopping by the channel and watching this video today. Remember to subscribe here at General Tech HQ and have a great day.